Ah. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my virgin kitchen. Today, myself and Phoebe. Hello, what are you eating? Chocolate. Chocolate? <gasps> and what is that on your face? Is that a pig? Yeah, a butterfly. Is it? It looks like a pig to me. It's a butterfly, isn't it? It looks actually a little bit scary, a little bit like tribal marks, I don't know, but I'm going to have to deal with it. And what's that on your head? Hairband, is it? Yeah. Cool. Hairband. Yeah, right. Hairband. Yeah. Alright, calm down. You're eating sugar, you're going to get worse. All right. I'm not eating sugar. Well, you are, because there's sugar in chocolate, you'll learn that. Okay? Mm. Yeah. Well, there's quite a lot of ingredients today. Well, we are going to start, but this recipe does involve a bit of adult involvement, so that actually a bit of heat using a saucepan. So Phoebe's going to be a spectator for some of it, but then we're going to do some funky stuff. These are all the ingredients you need. There's quite a lot. So if I just click my fingers, if you hit pause and write them down. Phoebe, can you click your fingers? Try. Do you want me to help you? Ready? Go one, two, three, click. <gasps> you did it! Amazing. Right. What we've got is basically the chocolate ingredients there and this is for our shoe pastry and I'm going to do a really cheap version of a filling bag for pastry I've just got a freezer bag with a little hole in it and squeeze the pastry at the end but you'll see that in just a jiffy and a little baking tray I've got here scattered with flour we'll just get on with it and see how we get going right mate thumbs up please wow are you cool yeah yeah, yeah. let's get going wow that's a scary face you okay right we have got a saucepan here what will you do, and mate? Daddy, butterflies are not scary. Yes, they are. I'm scared of it. And butterflies are not scary. I'm not arguing with her. She's she's telling me the butterflies aren't scary. Okay, I've seen a film that the butterfly was nasty, but that's fine. What See the butter, mate? Can you put that in the pan for me? What butter? What butter? That one in your hands, all of it. What is? Yeah. I've put it into four little cubes for you. Yeah. Go on. Nice work. Right, what's in there? Water. Okay, can you pour that in for me? You got it? Your hands are going to be slippy. Brilliant. Okay, now Daddy needs to do an adult bit now, okay? What we're going to do with this pan with the water and the butter in, we're going to melt it, okay? We're going to melt the butter until it brings to a boil. So, Phoebes, you need to stand back for this bit, okay? Yeah? Cool, let's get on the heat. Okay then guys, so the butter and the water is melting together there. As you can see, it's actually starting to simmer lightly. There's still a big chunk of butter there. That's on a medium flame there. Once it does boil, turn the heat off, because we're going to stir our flour through. Daddy, and Phoebe's just playing around there. Daddy, I need that spoon for... You need that spoon, do you? I mix it with in there. You will do, mate, yeah. I mix it in there. In okay. There. Listen to the butterfly, yeah? She, she's, she's in charge. Right then guys, so it started bubbling away and what I've done is started to pour in my flour, there's a little bit there and I've got the rest of it, so I'm just pouring it in about a quarter at a time, just stir it through off the heat, obviously you've still got the heat from the saucepan in there, you just want to merge it all together so it starts to thicken. Um, 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 a lot of beef hoarded and his face Another big boy had his face painted? It's a tiger. Of a tiger? You've got a tiger on your face. That's what we're looking for guys, that thickness there, okay, so keep adding your flour. Do, 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 do. Tiger, was it, mate? See, she's discovered tongs. They're called tongs, mate. Do you like them? She likes the tongs. Right then, guys, that flour is all stirred through. It's kind of like a, a Play Doh style mix. It's all nice and thick, like so. If you're an adult doing it, what you can do now is leave it in there and just chuck in your eggs and stir them through one at a time. But because Phoebe's going to be doing them, what I'm going to do is put it in a mixing bowl so that obviously the saucepan is not hot and she's not going to burn herself and just mix it through. So uh, let's get our eggs ready, shall we? Yeah. She's loving those tongs. Right, so Phoebe's got that mixture in the bowl, like so. It's a lot safer, obviously, not being in the saucepan like that. Otherwise, if she gets burnt, I'm in trouble. So, we've got six eggs there, like so. What I'm going to do is break them one at a time in the bowl and pour them in there, and she's going to stir them through as we go, okay? You ready for that, Phoebes? I want to do that step. Do you? Mm -hmm. Can you crack an egg? Watch me, okay? <laughs> okay. I can do it. Can you? Go on, then. Right then, Phoebes, get, take it away. If you think you can crack an egg, go for it. Okay. Oh my god, you did it! Who taught you that? 
Um, Jamie Oliver. Jamie Oliver. <laughs> oh my god, she actually just cracked an egg. There's no shell in that whatsoever. I mix it up now. Uh, yeah, put the egg in there, mate. Okay. Oh my god, I can't even do that. And the egg goes into the mixture like that. That's it, mate. You stir it round. I can't believe she just did that. I was expecting the egg to go everywhere. Not one bit of shell in there, honest. Phoebes, who taught you how to do that again? Um, Jamie Oliver. Jamie Oliver. And you, how did you see him? Where was he? Um, to his cooking show. On his cooking show. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Right. Where do eggs come from? Um, um chickens. And what is in an egg? Um, baby chicks. They are. What, mm, but we're... Oh, I'm not going to go down that route, but she is, you are a little genius, my friend. Let's keep pouring some more eggs in, because as you can see, it's starting to get a little bit moister. That's just one egg in there, so we've got another five to go. I do those ones. We've got to do all of them, mate, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I can't get over that, mate. You are so good at that. That's the last egg going in there. And, and that one? No, that's a spare one because we only needed six. We used the other one because we thought it was going to go everywhere. The mixture is getting a lot more liquidy now, which is what we're after. Just need to add a teeny bit of salt in there. And then we're ready to put it for our piping bag. Cha-ching! It's turning into her cooking show now. Yeah, I it. Right, check out how smooth that mixture is. Phoebes, butterfly girl, are you liking that? Yeah. Cool. Um, would you like your own cooking show one day? Yeah. When you're a big girl? You can do this on your own, can't you? Mm. And what would you call it? What would be the name? Poo. Poo? I don't think that's going to be a very good name for a show. Right, on that note, put some salt in there, okay? Upside down. That's it. Shake a little bit in. Good girl. Only a little bit. Not too much, not too much. You probably can't even see it on the camera, but she has put a little bit in. Stir it through. Oh, the, I like the Y on her head. It's kind of the the butterfly is fading now, but you just you just look like you should be. What are you doing? <laughs> she knows we're talking about her. Okay, so we've stirred that pinch of salt through, and Phoebe's been playing around with it. What we're going to do now is get our makeshift pipe casing bag, which is basically a freezer bag, and pour the mixture in there, and then we're going to get it on the baking tray. Let's see how this goes. Right, so we've got Phoebe here opening the bag for me, and I'm just going to pour the mixture in. Like so. Hold it tight, mate. So we're just going to fill this up with our mixture. Right then, guys, so we managed to get it all in our bag like that. What I'm going to do is cut a little hole in the corner there and do my best to get about six to eight lines across the baking tray, which we've scattered. What's on that baking tray, mate? Flour. Flour. Cool. That's going to keep it nice and loose when they put it in the oven. Flour, Daddy. No, you don't have to do anything with that, mate. We're just going to pour some lines along there, okay? And they will expand when they go in the oven, okay? So keep them fairly apart. They're probably going to double in size. Yeah. Right then guys, so I've just cut a hole in my bag, it's a little bit fiddly, but all I'm going to do is some relatively thick lines straight down, well spaced apart as I say, because they expand. It's quite a small baking tray, so I'm probably going to get away with four or five, and then we just going to plonk it in the oven. Okay mate, should we go for this? One, two. One, two? What do you mean one, two? What, one, two, one, two. Yeah, one, two. Anyhow, let's see how this goes. Yeah, nice big thick lines. So work your way down there. Okay, so I only managed to fit four lines on there. That one was a little bit patchy, but I got pretty good on my third go, and I had some left over, so I put it three more smaller ones into another tray. So obviously you're gonna need more and more trays, depending on how many you're gonna make. Preheat your oven to gas mark six, and then we're gonna shove it in there for about 30, 40 minutes until it goes nice and golden brown, and then we're gonna work on filling it with cream, topping it with chocolate, baby. Yeah. Okay, so while they're in the oven, Phoebe's having some chill out time while I get on with another adult thing. Okay, we're making the chocolate sauce. I've got a flame there. I'm gonna put my saucepan on there, just a little one like so. Pour in your water for the sauce, like that. And then just add in your sugar. So that's on a low flame. What we're gonna do is let that sugar dissolve into it. And then we're gonna bring it to a boil for about four to five minutes, okay? So keep your eye on it, on that heat. It should start to merge and then thicken. Yeah. Brilliant, so that's bubbling away there. We'll give it five minutes just to thicken up slightly. Then we're gonna take it off the heat and pour in our chocolate bits and our butter, stir it through, and it will start to thicken up even more and make a really funky chocolate sauce to put on the top. Loving it. Easy, right? Right, guys, that has been five minutes, and as you can see, it has slightly thickened. So what I'm gonna do is take that off the heat, lift it straight off, like so. Leave it there to cool for five minutes, and then we're gonna stir through the chocolate and the butter right in there, and it's done. 
Right, that's been five minutes. All I'm gonna do then is grab my bowl with the butter and the chocolate in, just drop it in like so. Let me just see if you can see this. As I start to stir it through the butter and the chocolate, you can see it's starting to melt already. And that, I just wanna jump in there right now, actually. That is becoming our chocolate sauce. Loving it, ready to spread on those eclairs, which by the way, I've just checked. And although they look thin strips, they've gone boring, kinda cool. Fantastic, so our chocolate sauce is all done. As you can see, it's still a teeny bit runny, but as it cools down, it'll thicken even more, so we can actually spread it on top of the eclairs. All that's left to do is to whip the cream, and that's what Phoebe's gonna do. Get the eclairs out, let them cool down. Remember, they're nice and golden brown and firm, and then we're gonna eat them. Yeah. Okay, guys, we've got them out of the oven, nice and golden brown. Look how big they've gone, amazing. Phoebe, butterfly face, can you turn on your elephant for me? Show everybody what it does. This is a game she's got. We've gotta lift the trunk up a little bit. What's that in your hand? A net. A net, because out of the trunk, if we go like this, da -da 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 -da, there should, some butterflies should come out. Ah! Not if we go like that. Are they coming? Here they come. Ooh, there it is. Did you get it? Oh, yeah. All right, well done, mate. Is there any more? Let's have a look. Yep, <laughs> one just got me, right. So while they're cooling down, we're gonna play the butterfly game. She's got to whip the cream and then we're nearly done. Amazing. Okay then guys, I've got the chocolate sauce there nice and cooled down and the eclairs, which I've put an incision down the middle of all of them like that so we can fill it with the cream. Speaking of the cream, there it is, 300 mils of double cream. Do you want to pour that in the bowl, mate? Mm. Go for it. Yes, and you did such a good job before of whisking that up to get it nice and thick. But I'm gonna let you do it again, okay? So there's your balloon whisk. And away you go. Right, so we're happy with our cream. Phoebe, there is a little spoon for you. What we want to do is to get your cream, yeah, like that. Little bits at a time and fill up your eclairs, dude, okay? In that little gap I've made. Yeah. Is that nice? Is that one going to be yours? Which one's going to be daddy's? That one. Thanks, mate. So just fill up all your eclairs up with the cream and then we get to put the chocolate on top and she's going to try her first ever eclair. Right, so you absolutely cram those full of cream and I've got a spoon and just scraped it nice and flush so the chocolate will sit on top nice and neat. Did you enjoy doing that, Butterfly? Mm. Yeah, which one's yours still? You changed your mind? Yes. Still that one, you've got your eye on that one, haven't you? Yeah. What goes on next? Chocolate. Yeah. What's that? That's chocolate in there, mate. We made the chocolate, well, I made the chocolate sauce. You didn't see that bit, but one day you will make it when you're a big girl, when you're a big butterfly or caterpillar or whatever you want to, you know. You might be a big caterpillar, you might be a big butt. What are those eyes? Wah! Ah! Okay, cool. Wah! Okay, Wah! you're scaring me and the people watching. Stop it, okay? You're having a seizure. Wah! You need to calm down. Yeah. Hello, monkey. Hello, monkey pants. <laughs> Are you ready to put chocolate on now? Yeah. There's your spoon. Okay. Okay. Just dip it in there and spread it on, and then we'll put them in the fridge for a little bit, and then you can try one, okay? Just pour it on top. It's all good. You can get a knife and spread out. Use the back of the spoon to spread out a little bit, mate, if you want, like that. Yeah. So dip some more in. Make sure they're well and truly coated. Get some more chocolate, mate. Yeah. So she's just gonna do that to all of the eclairs, and then we'll plonk them in the fridge just to let them set a teeny bit, and she's gonna eat it. Right, she's just finishing off doing those, and she's taking a little bit of a liking to it, as that will show. And also, Phoebe, look at your face. You've got chocolate on your face. You're a chocolate butterfly. I think that's about as good as we're gonna get it. That's a darn good effort. Well, obviously, if you're an adult making them on your own, I wanna see a much better standard than that. Thank you very much. We're gonna plonk those in the fridge just from the set a little bit, and then she's gonna try it. Are you happy about that, Phoebes? Happy? Yeah. She's happy. Okay, guys, we've got them out of the fridge. Can't wait any longer. The chocolate has set on there, and Phoebe, we've cut it up into four pieces, her bit. Go for it, mate. Tell me what you think. Do you like it? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Yeah, cool. So, if Phoebe can make that, which she pretty much did by herself, apart from the hot adult stuff, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself, let us know how you get on, and we'll see you again next time. Bye. bye. Say bye. Bye. Yeah. High five. <laughs>